Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today we'll explain how to create effective dynamic presentations with Microsoft Sway. Today we will learn how to create a dynamic presentation using the multimedia cards offered by Sway. And our objectives will be to learn how to access and create a new Sway, to know what kinds of cards we can insert, to design and customize a Sway, and look at examples of Sways for education. You will note that without having previous knowledge of design and programming, anyone is able to create and produce a Sway. So the first thing we need to create a Sway is to have an Office 365 account or a Microsoft account. It is not necessary for that account to be educational, but if it is, it's good because if you have an educational account, then everything is saved in that account. Let's see what Microsoft Sway is. Microsoft Sway is an online tool which allows us to create presentations through content cards. This is very important. Sway is not just a tool for creating presentations similar to PowerPoint or Prezi or some other kind of presentation tool. It works through multimedia cards. The customization of Sway is limited as it focuses on the content and not on design. So we have to focus on what we want to say because the design will already be taken care of by the program itself. We can create different educational content such as mini-webs, image and file repositories, work portfolios, teaching units, etc. And going a little beyond education, it allows us to create our job portfolio, even an online resume. Well, that depends on your creativity. Here we see the Sway icon. It has more or less this aspect. As you can see, it works by multimedia content cards, which we'll look at in a bit more detail. We can do it from the Office website. We would click here on the Sway icon. If we don't find it in our Office panel, we go to the search engine located at the top and type Sway. This would be the view when we open Sway from the Office website. You see that here we have a list of all of our created Sways. And up here on the left, we have a small window that says New Blank Sway. And the other way to access is from this link, www.sway.office.com. Once you log in, you will have a completely different interface, but the functionalities are the same. Here, you will see instead of a list of my sways, small windows of each sway I've created or shared. And here is the option to create a new one. This would be the interface of a new sway. Here we have our content, which is where you will see a main card that serves to include a title for the sway. This card cannot be deleted, but it can be modified. We always need to have the sway title or a card with a main image. Then, from this primary card, we may add other content cards. We have some suggestions from Sway, which are most frequently used, as, for example, the header, the text, the image, stack, or load my own files. That can be PDFs, PowerPoints, Word, etc. And then we have a section for multimedia, which is the one you see here. We can insert an image, video, audio, even an iframe code, like, for example, an iframe of a podcast audio, where we copy the HTML code and embed it in the card, and it would automatically be embedded in the Sway. We also have the option to upload here. On the other hand, we have up here on the left two options. Storyline, that's our Canvas editor, which is the view we have right now, and the Design tab, which allows us to see how our Sway is looking and edit the style. Then, we can preview, here and play, that starts it from the beginning to show us how others would see our Sway. Once we click Play, we click the Edit button to return. Then we have the Share button, which is in almost all Microsoft tools. It gives you the link to share with people. These three dots open a window with options like Duplicate this Sway, Save as a Template, Print, Export, Settings, etc. Further down here, there is Insert, which is to insert images, but you'll see that it's very easy to use. We're going to implement a series of actions in Microsoft Sway. The first thing we're going to do is create a Sway from scratch. We're going to give the Sway a title, add text and images, add our own content, insert a YouTube video and preview the Sway, change the style, 
And finally, we're going to share it. This is my Office 365 website. I already signed in, so now I click on Sway and on New Blank Sway. Keep in mind that we do not have to save a Sway in any location since these are always saved automatically in the Microsoft Cloud. So even if we leave or it closes or we lose internet connection, nothing will happen because the content will be saved. So let's name the Sway. For example, let's call it the planets. Now we add text and image. For this, if we go here to details, we can open the different options for a card. You can look at the text and edit it. And below, we can add a background and a logo if needed. In my case, I'll add a background related to the topic. We'll check out what suggestions there are from the web and that they are all Creative Commons. That is to say, they are images that we can use without copyright infringement. Here, we choose the one we like the most. I like this one, so I click Add. This would become the cover image. If I click on Focus Points, I can select this option, and Sway will know the entire image is important. Now, I'll preview it in Play. As you can see, when you create a new Sway, the program gives it a design style. To return, I click on Edit. So to see the design and edit the styles, we can go here. You can see how it would look. For now, we will keep this design style that Sway has given it. Now, let's add a text card. For example, Heading 1. Don't get confused with the content cards. To simplify it, the headers, Heading 1, are like your sections. For example, if I insert a Heading 1 for the Mercury planet, I can create new cards that will go inside that section. So let's do it. I'm going to name this section Mercury because it is the first planet in our solar system. And here I can select the text and emphasize it. It's like the bold option in Microsoft Word. I'm going to look for planet Mercury and select the image I like. Here you can click on Add or drag and drop it. Now I can check on how my design looks. Now I'm going to do the same I did with the cover image. Click on Focus Points and select this option. So, I want to add text under the section of Mercury. I'll type, this is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest planet to the sun. And then if we want to, we can add another image. It could be this one. And I click here to set the emphasis of this card to moderate it. It means medium-sized. These are the properties of the image. It can be small, medium, or large. Then, depending on how you want it, it would turn out that size. Let's see how it is looking. Here's the text. This is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest planet to the sun. And the image. If I want it to be smaller, I go back to the storyline, select the card of the image, and click here. Let's go to design again to see how it changed. Better! Now I go back to the storyline, and I want to add more images of Mercury. So I just have to drag and drop all the images I want, and watch how they appear, one below the other. Everything I have done so far is inside of the Mercury section. Let's go to the Design tab, this is how my Sway is going. I can also select all the images I just added and group them. Here, in Group Type, I can decide how I want them to group. Automatic, Stack, Grid, or Slideshow. I'm going to go with Grid. Now let's see how it looks. I could also ungroup and regroup them with the text card. And let's select the Grid type of Group. Then, this would be like a card that can be displayed to see the content inside. Let's click on the play button to see how it looks. So here I have my cover image with the title of my sway, the Mercury section, and the grid of the text in the images. Maybe I want it a little bigger, so I just have to select the group and choose the size I want, and look at it again. So play. When I click on an image, I can see it larger. 
No, I close this and go back, click on Edit. You can also add a video. We go to Media, then click on Video and see what suggestions come up. Remember that here in the search engine, you can always type the word of what you are looking for. What I'll do then is drag this video to the card and set the emphasis on medium. I click play to see how it looks in this way. And here we have the video. You can play it without leaving the application. The planet Mercury is named after the messenger of the Roman gods. If we gods. want to talk about Venus now, we have to create another heading. Remember that it's a section. So I type here Venus, select the text, and click on Emphasize. Then I search for a background image of the planet. Hmm, I like this one, so I drag and drop it here. Focus points, select the entire image is important. Then I can add a text card and type, this is the second planet from the sun. Click on play to see how it's going. So you see, this would be Mercury and this Venus, and each is in a section with its respective header and content. We can change the style because maybe we don't like the style, so we should go to Design and then Styles, here on the right, and look for the one we like best. We can change the presentation format, whether we want it to be vertical, horizontal, or as slides. Well, in terms of the style, I can choose, for example, this one. I click Play, and it will look like this. This part is to each one's liking. You can check out the styles and choose the one you prefer. When you have this way for the planets completed and you want to share it, you just have to click here to share it and select these two options, share with anyone with a link, and invite people to view. This is the link that we would copy and share. I'm going to go to an in-private window and paste it here. As you can see, I do not have the option to edit. I can only view it. Now let's go back to the presentation and look at some tips and tricks on Sway about inserting images with commands, section sequencing, embedding a form, embedding a podcast recording, password encrypting a Sway, duplicating cards and viewing the statistics of a Sway. Let's begin with inserting images with commands. If you have Windows 10 operating system, there is a very useful keyboard shortcut, Shift plus Windows plus S keys, with which you can capture any image you have on the screen. Let's do it. I open my browser and look for an image, for example, Venus Planet. This one, but I don't feel like saving it because I'd have to name it, save it in some folder, and then look for it to upload it to my Sway. Too many steps. So, what I can do is, using the keyboard shortcuts I just mentioned, I take a screenshot of my screen. Now, I have it copied to the clipboard. Now I go to Sway and add an image card. And right here where I am, I click Control plus V and it just appears on the card. I'm going to click on the design for you to see. This is the image that I copied and pasted. Super simple and very fast. Remember that if I click on focus points, I can say that the entire image is important. That means no matter the size of the screen where I'm watching this presentation, Sway will always show the whole image. Next up, section sequencing. This is what we did with the Mercury and Venus headings, which, as I had said, every time you insert a heading, you create a new section. To embed a form, we go to Media and select Embed, which would be like an iframe. Now, I open Forms and choose one. This one here, and click on Share. One of the options that appears is Embed. It is an iframe that we can copy. We go back to Sway, and here we paste our iframe. Now, I click Play. 
and we see that the form it's been attached here. And we can fill it out without leaving sway. On the other hand, if you don't want to use an iframe, you could insert a link. For that, you can add a text card and write, this is the link to the form. Now I go back to the forms, and instead of copy the iframe, I copy the link. Return to my sway. Here is the text. You can make the text a little bit larger on this card with the emphasis option. Then I just select the word where I want to insert the link, and here on the text card, there is a link option. I paste the link here where it says web link. If we click on design, what we'll see is this link. It automatically opens a new window with the form that you can use. Let's continue with embedding a podcast recording. There is a feature in Sway, which is in media and it's audio. You can add an audio file from your computer or record your voice directly in Sway. I click on record and here there's a countdown. Hello everyone, this could be a recording or a podcast that can last for up to five minutes. We click stop and then add to Sway. And here, our recording is uploading. It doesn't play automatically, you have to click play. Sometimes it takes a while to load while it uploads to the server. We continue with encrypt Sway with a password. By clicking on share, if we want to gamify this way so that people need to access with a password, or for example, we want to show a set of photos to the family and only family members can have the password. We click on more options and require a password to view or edit this way. In this case, it's only to view since above I selected the invite people to view option. Then I click here and create the password. I check the option require a password for everyone. In this case, whenever the Sway link is opened, it will require a password. I click cancel as I don't want to assign one, but now you know how it can be done. Duplicate cards. This comes in handy to speed up work. Imagine you want to duplicate everything from Venus. The header, the text, this link card. So I select what I want and press the keys Control plus C. Click outside and here I press the keys Control plus V and paste it. See, the whole section is here. So this is a very simple way you can duplicate the content. And finally, view Sway statistics. This can be done only with an Office 365 account from the Office website. I access Sway, and here I have the list of Sways, and on the right of each Sway, you can see the number of views, the average time spent on the Sway, the percentage of progress in the Sway, how many quick reads, and how many deep reads. Finally, remember that those who have attended this session have this code to redeem points in the MEC. What is the Microsoft Educator Center? If you are a MIE teacher, meaning Microsoft Innovator Educator, this serves to earn you more points for your profile. You can log into the MEC with an Office 365 account or with a Microsoft account. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.